Hey, it's the World Warriors of Capcom Cup Player Showcase, and I'm Ultra David. And I'm James Chen. Series of videos where we go over all 32 qualifiers for the Capcom Cup. If you want more information about the Capcom Cup and or the Capcom Pro Tour, check youtube.com slash Capcom Fighters TV, which is this channel. This one. Find the intro video that we made there. But as you said, player showcase. We talk about players. Who are we talking about? Today we're going to talk about Mise. Mise. Mise from Japan. One of the best Makoto players in the world, mm -hmm. as you know. Yes, very, very scary, scary Makoto player. So. The guy who's been playing fighting games since he was nine. Dang. So for about <laughs> 20 years. A guy who has who plays the same arcade as Nemo. Nice. Title Station. Okay. okay. And goes there every weekday and plays for two hours after work. That dude, sounds pretty great. Dude, how would you like to be able to be, be able to go to an arcade after work? Play for two hours and have like different competition like all the time. It like sounds that. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a guy who uh, comes originally from more offensive games and so plays a bunch of offense in this one. Oh, I mean, he's picked the right character, right? So yes. he's, he's gone with Makoto. Makoto is kind of known for explosive damage. I mean, that's, that's just really what it is. Yeah. It's like Makoto doesn't have good foot speed. Doesn't have very good right. walk speed. Sure. Has this kind of very polarizing dash. It's super fast, but it's really far. So right. it's really hard for her to control distance. But as soon as she gets in one time, as soon as she gets one hit going, it just snowballs into you're dead. <laughs> That's the character, yeah. She has excellent normals, mm -hmm. excellent hitboxes on a ton of her, bu of her buttons. Mm -hmm. um, but as you said, difficulty placing them well. Mm -hmm. So to play Makoto well is about finding how to move around without walking, mm -hmm. essentially. And he does that really, really well. Yeah. I mean, in the match that we're going to analyze, you're going to see, I mean, there's just ridiculous movement on this character. Yeah. Now, obviously, she's super fast with her forward dashes and stuff like that. But the fact that he's able to get where he wants to all the time is really impressive. So, I, I absolutely agree. Yeah. And it's a character who, you know, there are characters with worse defensive options. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly, she's not among the best. Right. We can, we can definitely say that. <laughs> uh, so you don't want to get knocked down. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, which makes it even more important that you play offense. So you're right. She's all about the offense, and Mise plays her like Makoto. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Right? That's yeah. how he plays her. Uh, I, I feel like he fits extremely well with yeah. the character. He definitely maximizes what Makoto is supposed to be about. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely agree with that. Um, he doesn't really have any other secondary characters. He that doesn't. I yeah, I was trying to think about that, and it's really just Makoto. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At this, yeah. Yeah. I um, mean, I think he played Akuma at the start. Exactly. Yeah, he did play Akuma at the start, but it's been just Makoto for a long time. Right, you can right. you can really see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so he he has been uh, you know playing Street Fighter Four for for a long time. A lot of experience, as we said. If you go to that arcade all the time, you you have a lot of experience, um, and he's been traveling around. Right. As well. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's talk about his results in Ultra Street Fighter 4. We'll start with 2014. So at EVO 2014, he got 25th. Nice. Okay. Overall. Okay. He was uh, ninth in the Japanese arcade rankings mm -hmm. uh, as well. WECG 2014 Japan qualifier, second place. Okay. And in 2015, nine states tournament, ninth. KDO XTSB, ninth. Southeast Asia Majors 2015, 17th. EVO 2015. 25th place. Oh, wow. Two years in a row. Two years in a row. Okay, That's okay, right. Okay. Topanga ranking battle. Let's see. Seventh place. Taiwan fighter major CPT qualifier. First place. Hong Kong esports CPT Asia qualifier. Fifth place. Tokyo game show. 25th place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are some of the, the most stacked tournaments. Exactly. So there you go. Exactly right. Topanga League B, fourth. Canada Cup, ninth. And then Capcom Pro Tour Asia finals, fifth place. Right. Well, I mean, might have generated a new meme here now. 25th place is known as the Mise spot. No, no. But only if it's a super stacked <laughs> yeah. tournament, right? Yeah, only exactly. if it's a super stacked exactly. tournament. So. Yeah. Um, he, uh, you know, he, there, there, there is quite a bit of travel there. It's all, I guess, in East Asia with the exception of a couple of Evos. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, having traveled over to more or less the west coast of North America a couple of times now. I don't think that would be a, a big problem for him. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, I know, I, you know, it's interesting because we talked about this with, for example, like when Tanpi 
you know, made it in. I was really glad that a Viper player is in there. Yes. I'm really glad that a Makoto made it. So Haitani was kind of in the running for, at one event. He lost to Kaoma at Brazil, right. which is cool because, don't get me wrong, it's awesome to have Brazil in there yeah. and represent and everything like that. But I'm glad that Mise was able to just basically squeeze in via points. So he's yep. basically second to last in points. He's in 16th place for points, I believe it is, because a space opened up for... Um, uh, because there was no the auto qualify spot at Canada Cup got lost basically. basically. So he's he's around fifteenth or sixteenth in 16th points, place. right? Yeah. Points. So I'm well, really glad I'm I'm really glad he's made it in there because Makoto's again another one of those characters that just represents a certain play style in the game that a lot of other characters don't get to represent. Yeah. So it's it, it'll be really cool to see how Misei does at this event. You know, what's interesting is that he actually was uh, happy to see Kaoma get in as well. Oh. Apparently, the the player he's most looking forward to playing against is Kaoma. Really? Because he saw Kaoma play and was like, wow, that guy's really good. Uh, I thought, <laughs> see, I, I thought that's awesome. So Haitani used Makoto. I thought it was because he wanted revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Character <laughs> like, revenge. You right? took out my, oh, I'll show you how to fight Makoto kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, so, for yeah. sure. Um, mm-hmm. So the video that we're going to watch is, as I said, he, he did win a tournament. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he got first place at the Taiwan Fighter Major CPT Qualifier, right. which is how he qualified for the Capcom Pro Tour Asia. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and we're going to look at the grand final set where he played against Storm Kubo. Right. So Storm Kubo is playing Hugo, and Hugo is the character that has very oppressive corner offense. He's so right. scary. Very yeah. strong. Mm-hmm. And and very good buttons and and... Claps are hard to whiff punish, even for characters who have good walk speed. So mm-hmm. watching Makoto play against the character is really interesting because you have to see how Misei finds these spots on screen, how he's willing to challenge a character like Hugo on offense, even though Hugo has invincible command grab, invincible <laughs> anti-air, right. armored anti-air, all these tools. Mm-hmm. So it, it's cool to watch. Yeah, and also another thing, too, this is also an interesting match because, look, every, spoiler alerts, Everything goes Misei's way at the start. Yeah. And then Storm Kubo starts to make the rally. So it's always interesting to see, like, you know, we show a lot of matches where the, the, the player we're showcasing dominates or does really good. Yeah. It's really interesting to see them dominate early, then things start to go bad, and then to see how they react and recover from that. So, All right, well, let's, let's check it out. Yep. Whoops, you heard a tiny bit of Z there. Okay. Z, so Storm Kubo coming from losers, as you can see. Misei has mm-hmm. to win one set. Does he do it? <laughs> Does he do it? We'll find out. Well, as we say, this it doesn't start out good for Storm Kubo. Um, Misei is really going to get a chance to show what Makoto is kind of about. Again, though, look, look how he's finding for spots, right? So he was walking backwards, mm-hmm. trying to get away from Hugo's range until Axe Kick. Axe Kick, of course, major movement option for her. Right. And you see that double dash right there. It's just, it's really a nice understanding of this character's moves and then beautiful use of that standing forward to make sure she was within range. Right. And it goes for the chip. You see him on the right there. Yeah, and it's pretty risky too because those axe kicks can be punished by uh, SPD if blocked, right? So, but (laughs) good start here for Storm Kubo. Getting Mise all the way into the corner. Yeah, this is where Hugo is... The most frightening. Oh, yeah. This is a really bad situation for anybody. But, of course, Makoto, no Dragon Punch, nothing like that. You got to think that was Ultra. Oh, yeah, Makoto, yeah, yeah, Okay, but, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, right, what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, really, the only invincibility she has is the EX, you know, chop. But that runs out of invincibility even before it hits. Mm-hmm. So she definitely has a lot of work when getting up off the ground. And that's right. really where you have to take advantage of her. But look, look at this offense. Excellent Mix-ups, he, he stays in close. Like He didn't want to move away. He wanted to stay in there. Yeah, despite how scary it is to, to stay close to Hugo. Right. You know, she wants to stay in there. Oh, look at that beautiful oh, Torch Strong. This. Yeah. So that Torch Strong, which is like got the counter hit. Torch Strong is a key move because she moves forward a little bit too. So mm-hmm. it's, it's a way it's to actually that... get some space for her. Mm-hmm. And I love that option. What a smart option. <laughs> what a smart option. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the multi-hitting toward Fierce's. Yep. It was, it, I mean, it did exactly what he needed it to do. Was yeah. To beat that armor. So. Exactly right. All right. So that, there was a lot of good stuff there. You know, the ability to move around Hugo's claps, the ability to stay in, play offense, right. willing to mix it up. 
All right, so Mise takes the first game. Tries to get in there, you see, with that dash. Mm -hmm. You can see how Hugo basically is a moving wall. Right. Nice. Gets the command throw. Not going to use the ultra. Oh, wow. Yeah. That... And a stun on Hugo? <laughs> on the big boy? <laughs> yep. That was such a sick read there. Oh, what a block, too. And then Storm Kubo. Shoutouts also, by the way, to Storm Kubo. Not only always smiling and enjoying himself, but it looks like he, like, color matched himself. <laughs> <laughs> he got the Mr. Wizard color scheme. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dude. So, so you oh, saw that on. forward dash, back dash, and then goes for a reset into that ridiculous cross-up jump fierce chop. And this is oh, this wow. is a perfect on Hugo, who has more health than anybody. I mean, like, and, and he had a stun on Hugo as well. Yeah, so that is just some that is brutal. That's some offense. That is what Makoto does. It doesn't even matter the character. Yeah, right? uh -huh, exactly. even on Hugo. Yeah. So now Mise is up two zero, looking pretty good. Just won it with a perfect on mm -hmm. Hugo. But Storm Kubo is known for some craziness with Hugo himself. And uh, he's going to get a few good reads here. And he's going to start taking this back towards his side of things. The momentum is going to shift towards him. Yeah, he is adapting a little bit. You can see to some of Makoto's setups. Mm. You know, find, finding places where he's he knows he's harassing Misei enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and honestly, it's just... Makoto, her grounds isn't her ground movement isn't very good, and you know as long as you scare her from going into the air, that's where the meat squasher from Hugo is gonna land very well. And there, oh, Ooh. Yep, see there you go, meat squasher again, all the way into the corner, exactly where Hugo wants you to be, and then things just get really uncomfortable at this range. You know, Misa had a couple of good things there. Yeah, um, just reading a pile driver there, mm -hmm. probably trying to jump out. Uh, he, he had a couple of, of okay anti-airs, a stand strong, excellent anti-air, even against Hugo. Um, but just, you know, playing defense with her requires activity, mm -hmm. right? You can't just block. You can't mm -hmm. just, there's no dragon punch, really. Right. Um, so you, you do have to do stuff, and yeah. you just get strong a couple <laughs> of times. And if Storm Kubo reads a couple of back dashes, he'll get you every time. So it's going to happen just a little bit. Oh, God, when you get hit by that EX clap, it's just so scary. Mm -hmm. Oh, but here comes Misei. Yep, yeah, this is that offense. That's so oh, he, he didn't believe it. Yeah. He yeah. didn't believe that jump pierce was going to work. Yeah, but you see that three strongs into, yeah. into Hayate, into the dash punch. He has the combos. Mm -hmm. Not that that's so tough, but you got to know which characters it works on. Yeah. He's got a lot of the technical you know, ne necessities mm -hmm. for using Makoto. Oof. Oh, Whoa. that was so sick. Holy crap, didn't even look like that hit. That was really good. <laughs> nice, using the armor. That's such a beautiful, that's such a smart option. Such so again, pressuring from the ground, not always going into the air. He really mixes it up well. And yeah. the instant overhead. Again, this is the third stun on Hugo. I really think it doesn't even matter who he's yeah, playing against. Uh -huh. I mean, of course, you have to treat different characters differently, different setups, combos, right. etc. But he's in there. Yeah, you just don't want to be Rufus or Dalsum against this. Because <laughs> those two will stun so fast. But even Hugo gets stunned. Yeah. yeah. It's... Oh, here comes Misa. Gets in with that, but yeah, there so you go. that was a risk. And I think this is, yeah, where Storm, Storm Q... Yeah, there it is. One. Oh, you backdashed. Oh, you backdashed again. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff, and then he gets in. Oh, uh, even reading the back dash there. Yeah, so. he, he, he punished three back dashes, but like you said, that is one of the weaknesses of Makoto. Yeah. She has to do something. Right. And he read it that time. He was like, you know what? You, you think I'm going to stop chasing down the back dash because you've back dashed enough times. No, <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing it. So She does have a good back dash. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she wants the better back dash. Well, it ha goes really far. It just it lags. There's a lot of space at the end, yeah, but exactly. she definitely goes very far. So here we go. You know, one game two with a perfect. Everything was going your way. And then, oh, that was beautiful, by the way, that escape. And I love the, to go right back in uh -huh, as well. Uh -huh. But yeah, everything was going your way. And now here comes Storm Kubo. And now you're just in the corner. This is 
this this is just not where you want to be. That's fun. So how does Mise react to this? Again, just backdashing, relentless. Oh, I love the movement. There. Yeah. So Take it out of the corner cool. like that. That's so smart. That was the key to this whole round, probably, because that is not going to connect. Yeah, being able to get out of the corner against Hugo is, is great, and he did it by paying attention, expecting a dash, looking for the dash, and then reacting to it. Yep. Got through the jump, got right under there. Oh. oh, he went for it again. Because, like we said, he kept backdashing, right? We said, look, he keeps backdashing. He hasn't been discouraged. That was the same read that Storm Kubo had. And mm -hmm. so he said, you know what? I'm going to chase you down with this again. Nope, not this time. Mise stopped it at just the right time. Also, don't tell, tell anybody, but don't bother crotch blocking against Hugo. It's, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, wow. And uh, the roundhouse one is the roundhouse axe kick much safer than the forward and the short one, which is why you see him going for that one. He gets the knockdown that way. Oh, there's that setup again. He tried the same setup. It worked again. I wonder if Storm Kubo tried to block or what, but. Uh, right. Oh, man. Did you even see Issei's reaction to that as he started getting up? It uh -huh. was one of those, ooh. <laughs> it worked. But, ooh. But you know what? I mean, look, Makoto. Hugo, four stuns on Hugo that we just saw in that set. And uh, we might have even missed one or two, you know. But that's the character. That's the way yeah. Makoto plays. And as you see, Mise, excellent job playing Makoto. Absolutely yeah. agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, she is a volatile character. Yes. Um, she, in many matchups, is all or nothing. Yeah, kill or be killed, basically. Really, really, yeah. Um, luckily for her, she's very good at killing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. that that sort of kill or be killed thing is not as bad as it might sound. Right, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why he's able to win tournaments and do as well as he has uh, throughout the year with her. But I I do think, nevertheless, that there are some you know potential problem matchups that, that Mise can run to and has run into mm -hmm. in the past. Um, that is one thing I think that I would be worried a little bit about for him at yeah. Capcom Cup. If you run into a person who can play really solid defense using a character like, let's say, uh, Evil Ryu, who can dish out as much damage as Makoto can with, off of one low forward, could be a problematic situation. And, and like you said, volatile is a great word to yeah. describe Makoto. So, you know, it, it's really interesting. Um, even Mise himself is, you know... Not 100% sure of his chances here at Capcom Cup, but, you know, again, Makoto is just a character that's so, it's just poised to beat anybody if just the momentum shifts in your direction, yeah. right? So, he may not necessarily feel like he can win Capcom Cup, you know? I'm not even sure if it's that kind of situation right now where yeah. Misei can take Capcom Cup, right? I think you're probably right, yeah. But man, it's just with everything that's on the line for Capcom Cup, Misei's best chance for taking this tournament is to go in relaxed, go in, have fun, because <laughs> everybody knows how scary Makoto is. Yeah. So let the opponent psych themselves out. Let them go, God, I gotta go up against Misei. One mistake and I'm dead. Yeah. Right? If you can just go in there going, you know, hey, I'm here having fun and they're like, I don't want to fight Makoto. Yeah, right, right. Dude, you can steal so many games that way. So. I, and I, I do feel like Misei is, is a potential problem for people out there who, you know, maybe they think that, or maybe many other people think, that they have solid paths on the way mm -hmm, mm -hmm. through Capcom Cup. But I feel like he is enough of a landmine that <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen. Yeah. I, really, I mean, obviously he's a very good player. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he has a character that can just make things happen. If, right. You know, I, I've, I've often said that I think Makoto, her, her best attribute is that she punishes small mistakes mm -hmm. right yeah um better than anybody right if you make one, one small mistake against her the, that could be it but a lot of people at capcom cup they don't make many mistakes <laughs> yeah so uh, okay fair enough fair that's enough. that that's really about it but if somebody makes if somebody slips up once i mean that's yeah. expect me say to hop in right in that hole and 
make yeah, it work. Exactly. So again, you know, I know we've said this about a lot of players, but Mise definitely is one of those guys you just don't want to run into. Yeah. Because I the, the thing the thing about it is honestly the reason why we say that about players is because it's the players who don't have really anything to lose but use a character like Makoto that are probably the scariest to go up against. So yeah, like he, I said, if he just goes in and is just like, enjoy myself. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Here's, here's how I think about it. There are players who I think are very consistently at, like, say here. Uh -huh, here's their uh -huh. level, right? And then maybe there's somebody like me, say, who maybe sometimes they're here. Right. But, like, sometimes they're up here. <laughs> you, just, you don't know. <laughs> So yeah. that's how I that's how I think about it. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think he's I think he's a player to watch, and, and I would expect at least some some fun, interesting stuff. Oh yeah, oh for yeah. Sure. And and again, happy that he's there. Not just because he is a Makoto player, but you know, um, it's just always great to see these players, these strong players, make it out to an event like this. So yeah, that's right. All right. Well, that'll be it. Capcom Cup, the weekend of December fifth through sixth. Very soon now. <laughs> oh, am I? I'm. Secretly letting people know when we're recording this. Uh, I mean, right, within right. the next some period of time, maybe a few months, we'll be Capcom Cup. December 5th through 6th is the weekend at Sony PlayStation Experience. Make it out there if you can. Yeah, I see some people are still buying tickets oh, as wow. well. Oh, so, wow, there you yeah. go. Mm -hmm. So you can still make it there. Just so. to make it a little bit less clear what time we're recording this at. <laughs> Good job, James. <laughs> uh, but anyway, if you can't make it, then, of course, we will be streaming it live at twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters. Yeah, make sure to give them a follow on twitch.tv as well. So as soon as it starts up, you will catch every second of it. Also, um, I mean, we're close to the event, so follow them on Twitter as well. Um, I'm ruining the illusion. Twitter.com slash Capcom Fighters to get all of the news on the Twitter spheres. And if you like to talk about fighting games, and if you're interested in the fighting game community, then please... Check out our stuff. We do uh, videos and streams and stuff like that at youtube.com slash TV and twitch.tv slash TV. Yeah, we, we have a show where we do every week that's just kind of all about the FGC news, tournament results, you know, game news, all sorts of things. We have tons of videos where we go into, de in, into you know, go in depth into a lot of game systems, a lot of like high level techniques we have a lot of beginner stuff and every once in a while we'll even do you know random other games and stuff like that so that's yeah. true we yeah. do all right well thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you at capcom Club.